Hey, good Tuesday morning, friends. It's Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Tuesday, June the 4th. Hope all is well with you on this Tuesday morning. I'm back from the gym, a place I go many mornings. It's just, for me, a great way to start my day. I often have nice conversations with what I call my gym friends. They're short, but they're very nice conversations. And we talk about how it feels good just to be there, have the ability to be there, the gym, where it's located here in the center of my town. And, you know, in all truthfulness at this age, to be able to get there and do what we can do, it feels really good. There's always something positive to look at if you pursue it. And it's important to have that desire and discipline to pursue those things in your life that are going to add value to your life. So I am not pro at it, but I just offer that suggestion today as we begin, and I ask you, as I always do, to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear today's gospel, which is from St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 13 to 17. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought him one, and he said to them, Whose image and inscripture is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to him, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. They say that money is the root of all evil, and there is some truth to that. There are some very bad things that are associated with an obsession of money. And let me clarify that I feel that being attentive to your money and how you spend it and all those things is a good thing. Being obsessed with it is not a good thing. And certainly that is what one thing Jesus is pointing out in the gospel. Now we know that there are people who unfortunately squander money. That's not a good thing. We know that they spend money on not good things, that they are obsessed with money. They thrive it so much. They feel they're entitled to it. We have people who won the lottery who are penniless, unfortunately, because they just didn't know how to handle it. And the list goes on. But it's important, again, to realize it's not a bad thing to be mindful of it, but it is a bad thing to be obsessed with it. So what does Jesus do to illustrate his point? Well, the Jesus that I know and love, and you probably do too, has an amazing way of getting his points across. And he makes us think. So he takes a coin, and on that coin is an inscription of Caesar, who is representative of the money, the taxes of those times. And he says, okay, give to Caesar what's Caesar's. But although he doesn't flip the coin over, this coin does have two sides, just like our life has two sides. And what Jesus is showing us in this gospel is that we need to focus on our priorities. And maybe, just maybe, when we're getting a little too obsessed with money, a little too concerned or a little too worried about other people's money or whatever the case may be, we flip the coin of life over and we look at things that are more important than this money. I do this often. I do this in the sense that I flip my coin of life over and I look at the animals that I love so much that God has given me and instilled in my heart this love and passion for them. I flip the coin over and I look at the fact that, as I said in my intro, I push myself a little bit, but I have the discipline and desire to go to the gym and try to keep myself in decent shape and train in martial arts. And it helps me curb that obsession, which we all do have at times, for the financial things in life and puts our priorities back in line. This coin should be flipped over many times in life And it should be a reminder to every one of us to be mindful of what's more important in our life than money. Jesus gave us this imagery to follow, and I think it's one that we can all start today and really use it 
to find the real value in our life each and every day, especially when temptations come upon us. Well, my friends, that's my message for you on this Tuesday morning. As always, I hope it was helpful for you. I always look forward to your comments and your thoughts, but I always just appreciate you being here with me. I wish you all a wonderful Tuesday and rest of the week. I am still working on my continued videos that I'm working on to expand my scope here a little bit on the Compassion and Commitment Academy. That will be coming soon, maybe a couple more weeks as I continue to work on it. But for the time being, we'll enjoy these scripture times together. I appreciate you. I thank you. And I hope to see you back here probably on Sunday. Take care, everyone.